Recycling is anything but old school. In fact, these days, the cutting edge single stream process allows you to put all your items into one cart to be recycled, saving communities money and diverting materials away from landfills. But what happens to your recycled items after you leave them out on the curb? Let's follow this truck to the MRF to find out more. The Material Recovery Facility, or MRF for short, is where the unsorted recycled items are mechanically separated. The materials are first loaded onto a conveyor belt and carried to a V-screen separator that uses a series of fast-moving rotators to remove paper and cardboard from the other items. Once separated, the paper is taken to a mill and loaded into a de-inker that literally lifts the type off the page. It is then reduced to pulp slurry and taken to a high-speed washing machine that removes any remaining debris. Now clean, the pulp is pressed by steam-heated rollers and is ready to be made into new paper products, like newspaper and paper towels. Back at the MRF, the remaining items continue on to a series of heavy-duty magnets that collect items made of iron, tin, and steel. Since aluminum isn't magnetic, it keeps moving toward an eddy current rotor. Eddy currents create strong fields of energy around non-magnetic metals, repelling them away from the rotor. The metal materials are then taken to a smelter and exposed to extremely high heat. The molten metal is cast into bars called ingots, which are sent to manufacturers who shape them into new products like aluminum cans and vial cabinets. Returning to the MRF, the remaining materials continue on to an optical scanner that recognizes the plastic items and collects them using directed blasts of air. Later, at a reclaimer, the plastic items are sorted and fed into a grinder that churns them into flakes. The ground up flakes are then melted down and shipped to manufacturers who reform the polymer mixture into new products such as t-shirts and baseball caps. The separation process comes to an end when the glass items are taken to a reclaimer and crushed into cullet. The cullet is then melted down and made into new products such as beach sand and glass vault. You might think that the story ends there, but many recycled materials are sent overseas where they are made into new products, some of which are shipped back to be used and recycled again. It goes to show that our planet really is just one big neighborhood. At Recycle Bank, we're advancing recycling even further by offering households Recycle Bank points based on the amount they recycle. These points can be redeemed at hundreds of local and national businesses. To learn more, visit RecycleBank.com.